Hey everyone, Olivia from Chameleon here. A lot of you have expressed interest in seeing some of the best user onboarding examples that are out there. So today, I'll be showing you one of our favorites and walk you through how you could build something similar using Chameleon. We hope these examples inspire you and your team and help you come up with some awesome new experiments to try out with your own onboarding. All right, let's get started. So today, we're featuring Slack's user onboarding. We love Slack's onboarding for a few reasons. First, they eliminate distractions by not showing too much of the app right away. This helps their users focus on key actions that they should take. Secondly, we love that they educate their users by having them use the actual product and interacting with the Slack bot. The Slack bot also acts like a great empty state and really helps showcase what an experience might look like when a user has their own team members on the platform. Thirdly, when they walk you through the platform, they don't teach you everything right away. Just the first key aspects of the product to get you quickly understanding how it works and how it can really benefit your team. What's great is you can build a very similar product tour in just a few minutes using Chameleon, and I'll show you how. To get started, I'll be using the Chameleon Chrome extension, which allows you to design and build sample tours on most web apps, like Slacks. These tours will only be shown to you, so if you haven't installed the Chameleon snippet on your app yet, you can still start planning and designing your tours today with our Chrome extension. First thing we're gonna do is open up the Chameleon Editor and create a brand new tour. Let's call it Slack's onboarding recipe. From here, we'll recreate two steps from Slack's onboarding tour. Here's a screenshot of the first step we'll be building, highlighting Slack's ability to send direct messages. After creating the first step, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the supporting copy. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the step editor to customize the look and feel to match slacks. Next, I'd like to make the first headline pop more. You can use the editor to help style your content, or people find it's faster to just use Markdown. Whatever floats your boat. Chameleon automatically populates colors it sees already being used in the app. But for the button, I'd like to use a new color, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new hex code. We're almost done with the first step. Last thing is to move this step to the right of the direct messages text. To change the position of the step, I'm going to navigate to the editor's focus section and click on snap to element. Then highlight and click on the element on the page where we want the step to appear next to. I like the placement it defaulted to, but you could always change it to have the step appear above, below, or in either side of the element that you selected on the page. There are a few ways you can draw more attention to your content. You can either add a shadow, bringing all the focus on the element you highlighted in the step content, or you can also add a hotspot. For this example, I'm going to go with the hotspot. I'm going to start by customizing the hotspot, starting with the color, but you could also upload your own. Now I'm going to change the position so it's to the right of the direct messages text. Sweet! And we're done with our first step. Wasn't too hard, right? The second step is going to be a breeze. I do want to change it up a little bit. And instead of having the call to action drive you to the next tip, we're gonna make it actionable and drive users to invite their teammates. So let's go ahead and create the second step in this tour and start adding and customizing the content. Next, we'll pick the position for the step. We'll want to place it to the right of invite people text within the app. 
The goal is to really focus the user's attention on the invite people action that Slack wants them to take. So this time, we'll be using a light box instead of a hotspot. You can also customize the background shadow and opacity that best suits your app. Lastly, we'll want to make the call to action button actionable and drive users to invite their team members to Slack. To do this, I'm going to click on the button and select the action that will drive those users to the invitation page. Because the page does not have a unique URL, we'll have to use the click element action. The click element option lets Chameleon fire a single click on the page, as if the user did it themselves. Super sneaky, I know. Now that we've selected the link we want to drive users to, let's see it in action by previewing the step. Nice. Now let's see the full tour from beginning to end. It has been so fun recreating Slack's onboarding today using Chameleon. I hope you were able to see how easy it is to build beautiful and effective tours. And we're inspired to try something new with your own. If you thought this video was helpful, let us know. And if you have a tour that you'd like us to recreate, leave us a comment below. And of course, thank you so much for watching.